So close your eyes, ground yourself, place your feet on the ground. It's very key that you breathe and begin by breathing through your nose and exhaling down into your body very slowly and keep doing that until you don't need to do that anymore, until you feel like you're in a rested place. Let's begin. Take a deep breath. And as you exhale, allow yourself to move downward, going all through your abdomen, your legs, and feel yourself grounding to the earth. Take another deep breath and do the same thing. And on your third breath, breathe and release anything that has an obstruction to it to being here and present. Drop your shoulders and breathe. Now see yourself walking through a forest. There's a pathway. It's quite lovely. On both sides, there's there's flowers, plants, trees. And as you keep walking down this pathway, you hear the birds singing and you hear nature speaking to you. Off to your left, You look to your left and what you see is a lake. It's not a large lake, it's a small lake, but it's quite lovely. There's lily pads, there's green grass around it. And you're standing just slightly above where this lake is. And as you stand there, all of a sudden, you stand back three paces and you begin to look. You look around you, 380 degrees, you look around. And all of a sudden, to your right, you see a form. This is a male form, and it represents your male, who you are, in your essence, as a male. You are slowly walking to join the self that walked into the, into the area. The self that's observing. As the male part of yourself gets closer and closer, begin to observe. Observe the way, way you walk. Observe what clothing you're wearing. Pay attention and watch. As you move closer, you end up standing in front of the observer. You take a deep breath and instantly the focus begins to move to the left. Again, you see another figure to the left. The figure to the, to the left begins to move toward you. You watch and you observe. And it's a female figure. And as she moves toward you, notice again the way she walks, the way she moves, the clothing she's wearing, the energy you feel from her as she begins to walk very slowly towards you and towards the observer who's watching. When she reaches 
that point that's in front of you. The two of you are standing there looking at each other, looking into each other's eyes. And as you look into each other's eyes, you recognize that one part is your male and the other part is your female. The question now is, how can this male and this female join? How can they be one? How can they unite themselves? So the male asks the female, what is it you want from me? What is it you need? Then the female looks at the male and says to the male, what is it you need from me? What is it I can do for you? You both open your eyes and reach for each other's hands as you stand there looking at each other. An inner knowing begins to come forth. You know now what's needed to have the union, the inner companionship and union within yourself. You know what makes it possible to be one. This isn't something necessarily that can happen all at once. It's a process. But on this planet, until each one of us find our own inner balance within ourselves, it makes it very difficult for this planet to change. So a prayer is said that humanity has the possibility of shifting the consciousness and it starts with me. A spark of energy comes down through the male and female energy and the recognition is that it's possible. It isn't a dream, it's real. And in that knowing, a new thing begins. A new person begins. As you take a deep breath, that remembering of being by the lake and with each other will stay with you. The observer is there to assist and will, if you allow it.
In gratitude, we say thank you, thank you, thank you. Breathe now and bring yourself back into the room. My goodness. There we go. I have, um, I have uh, allowed that wish of one of my students to come through this, this video, so enjoy. <laughs> I hope the rest of you enjoy it as well. And it's always a pleasure to be here with you. And may we all find a way to rest in peace. And so it is. Bye now.